What's going on, you fine and fantastic freaks out there? How you doing? Uh, red alert, red alert. You got the red lights on this band, red alert. Eddie Junk in the Trunk Trunk has, uh, he's discovered, he's kind of like the Columbo of uh, private investigating. He has witnessed more lip syncing. Are you familiar with the band called Santa Cruz? They're about ready to rock their song Under the Gun here. I think these guys are from Europe. And I believe we've done a song or two or three, maybe, of Santa Cruz. But to Eddie Trunk, he must have been at this show because this is a, a post from uh, YouTube or something that he posted on uh, on his Instagram or something. And he is the voice of hard rock and heavy metal journalism uh, dating back many, many years. And he's discovered something with this band, Santa Cruz. So I haven't seen this clip. It's three and a three minutes and five seconds long, but we're going to stop it, start it, and look at it. First, let's see what old Eddie has to say. Oh, Edward, uh, this is beyond words. Everyone, I guess, just is okay with this. As I've said and have been saying, this has become an epidemic that needs to stop. So bad, it's to the point that this band doesn't even attempt to fake their lip syncing. Stunning. Imagine paying to see a band you love live, quote unquote live, and it's anything but. What's the point? Imagine you are a band that puts the work in to be live and others don't play and others don't. They play to a computer and fans talk about how great they sound. Pathetic. This must be pretty good. If you're asking me, this must be a pretty good clip. Uh, it's the norm in pop. It's got to stop and rock. Bands, fans, and promoters have to care that a live rock show is alive or it will only get worse. Madness. Hashtag madness. Hashtag madness. Hashtag sadness. Hashtag junk in the trunk. These guys are at the famous Whiskey A Go Go, it appears to me, and there's some hard rockers. Um, and we're going to get into this and see what it's all about. See what's going on with him. Um, he's looking back at the drummer. It's always a kind of a, a sign, right? And that looks like a laptop screen right back here. But uh, you always look to the drummer for timing to start songs. And a one, two, three, and go. You know, but usually they're playing live. So let's see what happens here. This guy, he's going, come on over here, baby cakes. He wants to get some from someone. Okay, the drummer looks like he's playing. It sounds kind of live, um, so I'm thinking it's more vocal back tracks. Oh Jesus, that wasn't even on, was it? Those chugga 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 chugga. Oh my God, that was blatant. See, every time I do one of these videos, so someone says, the, the, the bass player, he's singing, he, you can't see him, he's off the side of the stage. That was some straight up shit right there. He did, he forgot what song it was. Oh my God, that is just about as horrifying as you could ever get. Now, Edward Trunk at Trunkenstein's uh, uh, post is really making me go, yeah, this is like someone boffled that. They boffled the whole thing. And he's looking at the drummer because he's pissed at the drummer. Drummer's rocking it. He's doing the drums and he's pissed off because there wasn't enough click time or something. See, I'll bet you I know what happened is he was supposed to, uh... They're lo they've lost their timing. These two have lost it. The bass player doesn't have to do shit. He just stand there and go, boop, 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 boop. You know? Uh, I'd be curious if these guys have the, uh, wireless packs on. I'm not, I, I'm wondering how, how deep the fake goes on this. So he knows where he's at because he's a, he's a, uh, yay! And then he went, -doo 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 -doo. so he's he's having a bad day. Show me 
All right, so the guitars are live. They seem to be all pissed off at him, or they're looking back like, dude, you're not, you know, you're, you, you've goofed something for us. Oh, that is so terrible. That is just so bad. So they've got the live mics, and they just have those pre-recorded vocal, but that is the main vocal. And there goes Robert over here to see what was the mess up. Man. This guy's going, tickle, tickle, man. You're tickling the ivories. You're tickling those 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 frats, bro. I mean, there is just something so phony about the entire experience when you see it like that. At least Paul Stanley tries to get up there close to the mic and does a his shuck and jive dance moves or something. These guys straight up went, "We're busted, bro." Turn around, look at the drummer, you know. This guy's going to end up being out of the band. Do we want to make bets on that? Do we want to take a guessy bet that this, this fella here on the drums won't have a job, a job very long? Because these guys, I'm catching disdain for him. He's done something. And I love the bass player. He's just along for the ride. See, that's the only parts they're coming in vocally. <laughs> I think the thing that's bad about this too is that it's hair rock, it's hair metal, it's, it's glam rock. You know, they don't need, you know, that, that genre doesn't need any more headaches than it already has, you know. And then you've got these guys that are literally, literally, uh, uh, phoning it in, right? This dude is my favorite out of the band because he's going, dude, I get it. We're faking it. Uh, you know, this is a this is a sideshow. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to rock out. You guys be the ones that are concerned about everything. But these two dudes are acting like they don't even care to be doing it at all. Now, what's this guy back here doing? I'd love to see more of this show. He's playing the solo, isn't he? And this is the main dude, I think. Chippy? Chippy Mc, uh, McGogo. Chippy McCruz. This guy's coming back to fix another chord. You can't... Jesus, what was that all hand moves? It was like some, some jazz hands. He was doing one of those Harry Potter spells. Espeliamos! Espeliamos! Make us play for real. He's trying to put a spell on them so they can actually play for real. This guy's partying down here. He's like, brah, hacky sack and... I'd love to know from other people if they've seen the rest of this concert. Yeah. 
He, they, this dudes, these two dudes have no, they don't care. They're, they've, they've lost the flavor. Let's see if he says something about it, like, whoops. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. All right, let's see this one more time. I want to see the total flub. Yeah, he just, he acts like he is just not interested. Okay, so I think what happened there is he realized I'm not supposed to be playing guitar right there, right? It's just supposed to be the drums and him going, I think I wanna do it, we're gonna not play. Yeah. I mean, he's just he just dropped the ball. That's basically because this dude's hit it and started playing it, and this 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 dude realized something was wrong. Something was up. Something was off, and he might have just not hit the entire track. It's like, bro, our guitars are still coming through. You forgot to fire up the guitar tracks so we can just kind of stand around and do nothing at all. Now we've got to play the guitar and fake the vocals, you son of a bitch. I bet he's fired by the end of the day. What say you? Get in the comments below and tell me what you think of that. That was a legit lip sync goofy. I mean, you tell me uh, who's 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 off singing it. Someone will say it. Say no, actually, th there's a there's a fifth man, and he stands off the back behind the curtain, and he sings. Uh, get in those comments and tell me what you think of that. Sandy Cruz, their song "Under the Gun" and "Lip Sync Caught" by Eddie, the uh, heavy metal un uh, trunk trunkinator. Okay, swinging it. Mm -hmm. That's bad. <laughs> 